Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. This is Little Work and Crafts and I'm Davina. So, uh, a little bit better today, not 100% but it's a little bit better but that's life. So, I thought what I would do today is I am going to dress the dresser. The one that I do every season. But I'm going to do a bit different this time. If you remember... Ooh, hmm... Gosh, it could be about three years ago, I reckon, two, three years ago. I had the um, hands-on designs through the, through the year. And I've been putting them upstairs, but no one's seen them. So I've thought about, I'm going to put them down here. But I'm going to display them in a bit of a different way. As you can imagine, I've got Elmo's help. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. <laughs> so I've cleared it all. I've rearranged all this, polished it all. And um, I think we'll start. bit different this year is I'm going to include some of my Christmas books. Now I have actually read all these. Oh, I have. So the Christmas quilt that's the one that I read last year. Uh, that's a Jennifer Ch Ch you know the quilting lady. Absolutely lovely book. Absolutely lovely book. This one is brilliant. The Great Christmas Knit Off. That is a lot of fun. And that's by Alexander Brown. Obviously, because it's done in the snow, Agatha Christie, Murder on the Orient Express. Another Agatha Christie, I got this not last year, but the year before when it came out from Glen for Christmas. The Midwinter Murders. Um, brilliant short stories. I love the cover of this. I got this, as you probably guess, from the charity shop. But look at the cover, cover of that. It's got thimbles, threads. And this is what I'm planning on watching this afternoon. Little women. Can't beat it. <laughs> so, let's see how this is going to work. dining room table well we've got a living room living diner they're called but I managed to find to pick up this tablecloth it's a real cotton one it's all edged um, in the charity shop a couple of weeks ago for £2.50 so I give it a good wash and it's come up absolutely beautiful 
So this is an old vintage doily that I've had for donkey's years that I picked up and I thought I'd put my dough bowl on here this year. So I have my Christmas. <laughs> Christmas cross stitches. I can't guarantee how long they'll stay there because we all know what the little lad is like. <laughs> but I think that looks really nice. So, yeah, and what I will say is, <laughs> bring a chair over. It's, oh, I was supposed to get my Rebecca today, but she's had this amazing opportunity come up at work yesterday. And she messaged me, she said, Mum, what do I do, what do I do? She said, I'm supposed to come down and help you with the trim and trim up and everything at the weekend. I said, look, don't worry. She's going for a meeting um, for the company she works for. And at the Chard, I hadn't heard of it. <laughs> I do live in a little world of my own sometimes. And um, they've got, because it's her and seven others from the company, and they've got a meeting uh, there, and then they're having an evening meal. And I said, you've got to go for it. You know, how often is that really going to come up? I said, but you can go on the condition. I said that, obviously, when you're driving around London to get to it, I said, just make sure you get some um, photographs and that for me so I can pop on the... Um, <laughs> Over the, over the next few days so fingers crossed she'll remember bless her heart but she's so excited oh and so am I I'm really excited for her so anyway so she did say look she said you've always trimmed up on the first Sunday in December she said so go ahead and do it she said there's always next year which there is so Glenn will be going up tomorrow up in the loft and getting the tree which goes over there as always and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it because that will actually look like Christmas here. I've got my Christmas blanket on the back of the couch there. As I say, I'm going to finish off pottering around down here. I've got to open my Advents, so we'll do that in a moment. Then I'm going to have a lovely cup of tea with my feet up. And I don't know what time is. And, and then I'm going to put on Little Women. I have got every one on DVD, every version except for one, and I keep looking for that one and I just can't find it anywhere. Right then, right, all right, I will give you all close-ups of what I've done here. I'm so happy with that dress with the little rocking chair and the books. It does really look a bit more like, you know, a cosy, no, a close, cosy room. So I'll get some footage in that and I'll be back in a bit to open up my characters. So I'll see you in a minute. right then okay so I've sorted everything out I'm really happy with what I've done so far as I say tomorrow the tree and that will go up I have brought over my bag because last night let's have a look I finished the leg on Glenn's Christmas socks and oh actually I tell a lie hold on I thought that was a bit short that's the finished <laughs> The finished leg and I got that far on the other leg so I'm, I'll definitely get the leg done and start the heels tonight on that and that is the this year's West Yorkshire Spinners gingerbread yarn and as you know well this is the third pair of socks I've knitted in that yarn this year I just love it absolutely love it so I've already been through the, bo the boxes and the bags of my advents <laughs> So we didn't have what we had yesterday <laughs> oh dear me right then so first of all we will do susan judith and paul hi number three. Oh, chocolate oh, i'll have a cup of tea when i'm watching little women Oh, blue fern yarns. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh, look at that. 
I do apologize for the light, but it's such a dull day again today. But there's all pinks in there, and oh, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Keep the chocolate out. <laughs> thank you. This one is from Davina. Number three. <laughs> These are very nice. They really are lovely. Oh, oh, that's pretty. Oh, the blues and pinks in there. Thinking with this one, I'm going to do a scrappy, do some scrappy socks after I've finished the socks that I've um, got to make. So um, yeah, I'm going to tell you a little story about um, Davina's ones in a moment. <laughs> this one is from my lovely friend in Scotland. Number three. And the pumpkin I've popped upstairs. Oh my gosh. The colour of this. Oh, look at that colour green. Oh, well, thank you both very much. Thank you, Davina, and thank you from my friend in Scotland. And thank you uh, to Susan Paul and Judith. Now I'm going to tell you a little story. Then I'm going to pop a little video in. Now, I'm trying to keep all these in um, where, you know, where they've, who have got me my advents. Elmo, I don't know what it is, Davina, the what you've done. That sounds so funny saying that to somebody, it really does. <laughs> um, but in one of them, he will not leave it alone. He just picks up the bag. He tries and opens the bag to get the wool out. He just will not leave it alone. So earlier on, because I was leaving them on the table, but I'm going to put them in a little basket now and, and put them somewhere so he can't find them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to pop in a little video here and you see what you think. boy of mine. I ain't been out of brush my hair properly today because it's um my head's still not 100 but thank you ever so much for all the messages that I got I really really do appreciate it. I have started a, a playlist for this so I had to have playlists for everything but there is a vlogmas 2022 if anybody is interested so um let's pop my hand in Teresa's box. Remember to move the tissue this time. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, we'll go with this one. What is this? Let's have a look, shall we? Beautiful bag. Oh my word. Oh, I've seen these. Um, I follow these on Instagram actually. This is the Vegan Bunny and Co. And this is Che Cha Cha Latte Soy Candle. It's gonna smell. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna light that in a minute and all. <laughs> and I love that little canvas bag. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Oh, and yesterday, if anybody noticed, I forgot to open my tea. So I've got two teas to open today. <laughs> so let's see what's in number two. So, oh, that smells nice. It smells very warming. Let's have a see what it says on the box. Oh, mold cider. Uh, it just that's the smell moldy i think it's not moldy moldy <laughs> molded you know what i mean is it's very warming isn't it so i'll definitely be having that one 
uh, peppermint hot chocolate. Ooh, let's have a look at this one. Oh yeah, oh. you can. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. You can really smell the peppermint. <laughs> oh dear me, I would be having these. <laughs> Oh dear, I didn't mean to do that at all. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> thank you so much, <laughs> Oh dear me. And thank you ever so much um, to the others for my lovely, lovely yarn advents. I am so enjoying them, I really, really am. Okay then, right. So I'm going to love you and leave you all. I'm going to call it this for today. So say tomorrow we are going to be decorating. Glenn has actually gone upstairs for an hour's kit because he's in again this evening. So, um, and then tomorrow he's in tomorrow evening, which is okay, actually, because then I can watch the football in peace. Because <laughs> England are playing, aren't they? Can't remember who, but they're playing. Um, yeah, so, and Elmo and I, we like to sit and watch that. <laughs> so I put my feet up and he sits in between my feet on the, um, the fluffy fleece. <laughs> I know he snores his head off, but he's still there, he's present, bless his heart. He's running up and down the stairs at the moment. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> anyway, so this isn't too long. I am going to love you and leave you all. So please take care, stay safe, and as always, happy crafting. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.